Hi, how are you? Can you see me well? Okay, I have brought some pictures for you. First one is Mozart's most known picture. It is, of course, the great Mozart. The second is the little Mozart. Is the child prodigy. Is the Mozart of America's God talent. Now, pay attention to the third picture. This is Mozart's most unknown picture. Here Mozart was 16. It is the year 1772. It is the year that Mozart wrote Lucio Silla. It is the point where the child prodigy becomes a genius. That's why Lucio Silla is full of geniality. Do you want to know more things about Lucio Silla? Okay? Just follow. First of all, let me place you in the opera and in the time it was written, because it is very important to understand why there is only one Mozart, regardless how old he is. Okay, follow me, follow me, follow me. Look at these two objects. The first one, a classical column. Mozart lives in an age of full classicism. That means archetypical characters, the capo area, rigid structures, and, and the second object, this one, the head. The opera is based in the life of Roman Republican dictator Lucius Cornelius Silla. Attention, a dictator. Therefore, it's logical to think that there is social criticism, that there is not. Mozart is not allowed to do it. Mozart is bound from head to toe. But despite of this, despite of all these problems, Mozart, as Mozart is Mozart, gets over all this with the only weapon he has, the most powerful one, his music. Now, listen to this. Listen to this chorus. Remember that Mozart is a universal spirit. Lucio Silla is an opera about love and power. Who will win at the end? As you can imagine, this is a classical opera. It must have a happy ending, and therefore, at the end, love prevails. In fact, the real Lucio Silla ended up leaving politics when he was 70 for a love story. This is the plot, but more important than the plot is Mozart's music. Just listen to this. This is uh, Lucio Silla's second area. Isn't it? And now more things. Let me search. Let me looking for something. This is. I'm looking for a website of Klaus Good. Okay, I got it. Klaus Good is the staging director. Check. Check all his productions. We have, for example, Die Valkyrie. This is Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Mask Man. Once again, Mozart with Così fan tutte. And our Lucio Silla. Klaus Guth is one of the great theater directors of the moment. Klaus Guth plus Mozart equal a surprising result. Now pay attention to a moment I love, the duet between the two lovers. Okay, I got it. They are two sopranos because originally the male character was performed by a strato. Just listen. Listen how these two voices blend. So you see, Mozart here was only 16, but he was already Mozart. It's like Miro. If you want to understand all his work, you need to know the picture, the farm. And the farm in itself, exactly like Lucio Silla, is brilliant. So please go to the theater and find Mozart, and you will see that Mozart will find you. See you at the Liceo.